to keep an eye on as we're inside a mile to go at this point. So moving to Bruno there of Portland. Oregon runners rounding out their scoring. But at the last split, you're right. Something to watch farther down the results that Gonzaga UCLA back and forth, and it has gone back and forth virtually all race long. Jordan right now leading Rudolph Lavis. As these two guys have been at the front the entire way. Mawara looks like he's breaking away a little bit. Yeah, that gap that's that's not an eleven second gap at this point. Yeah, he, well, they're breaking away from the Chasers as well. So he's going to cut out on his own, see if he can close the gap here to Jordan and Rudolph Levis. The thing about this course, it twists and turns so much, they have ample opportunities to look back and see how big their lead is. So it looks like what was an 11-second lead is now about a 5-second gap back to Moira and then about an 8-second gap to the pack. So... They're starting to close in on the leaders. Be interesting to see how how Jordan and Levis respond. If they try to push, if they're going to make a move once the pack gets to them, if they get to them. We're within less than a K to go here. Yeah, so it's Miller Haller of Boise State and then Stanford from left to right. Osberg, Ratcliffe, and then Fahey. You see Cooper Tier in the middle for Oregon. So it's 9K split is in. Unofficially right now, Stanford has a one-point lead on, on Portland. So really close battle here between Stanford and the, and the Portland Pilots. It's the story right now is, is really the fifth runner. Portland's fifth in, in about seven spots up on Stanford's. So if they can move up a little bit, they could take home their third consecutive title, which, you know, we weren't talking about that too much here. They ranked third uh, in the region coming in, eighth in the country. Stanford ranked fourth in the country. This could be an upset. So Stanford at 68, Portland 69. Oregon has moved up in the third at 89. Washington in fourth at 101. Boise State at 130. Gonzaga now separating from UCLA, about 30, 31 points uh, between 6th and 7th now. Washington State 8, Cal Poly 9, Idaho 10, and here we go. We are in the final stretch of this race, and it's Jordan that's going to take home the victory for Washington. Andrew Jordan transferring this year to Washington, going to take that regional title in front of uh, Lavise of Portland, Moara of Gonzaga. If the team doesn't go, he's secured a spot individually, and it looks like Idaho, or sorry, Boise State is going to get their first one in with Haller. Stanford's got some in. Oregon, Stanford's got more. Portland, US, UCSB, looks like they might have an individual in there. So they are all filtering in real quick. Yeah, we'll get these results to you as quick as you can, but Andrew Jordan looks unfazed in that home stretch. He gets the win over Levis. See Mawara there nine seconds back. Miller Haller, a great run in fourth. And Burke for UCLA trying to keep the Bruins in it. Ahead of Jackson Messer for Oregon. And then Stanford came through. Let's see if it was enough uh, Rad to win. Rad yeah. Radcliffe at 9K was fifth and faded back behind Osberg into eighth. So it Osberg moved up though yeah, Osberg. from 12th to 7th. Yep. And then it looks like Oregon, still too close to the top 10, but had faded back a little bit with Messler and Tier. So waiting for, for the runners to continue coming in. Now we are starting to get some scores. And we're waiting for Stanford's fifth. It looks like the fifth may be an issue. Portland has all of theirs in. These are unofficial that you're seeing on the screen right now. Unofficial. With Portland at 65. So these are going to shift as runners come across the line. So we'll hang tight on that. But 
Portland ran really well, regardless of they did. I, I, I mean, I, those are unofficial, but I, I, I think it's safe to say Portland may have won this thing. Uh, Portland's fifth, as we mentioned, with a K to go. Their fifth runner was uh, was in a, in a much better position. Um, and it looks like we'll see here. Scores are starting to change a little bit. And they're starting to put placements to all the runners. But Portland unofficially may have snuck out a victory here. Yes. And to keep their their West Region streak alive. Yes. Silva in 12th, Michael Teron Solano in 13th, Riley Olson in 18th, and then Joe Horn in 20th. So that's their entire top five in the top 20. 